Right, so, so here we've got London tap water on the left. So it's 310 parts per million. Okay. Right, so let's check the well water. What area is this from? This is from uh, Somerset, uh, right. Big Water area. Right. So. So 300. So what is. 400 and just over. So is the high numbers good or bad? Well, it depends what they are. Mm. So we can't tell until we do the electrolysis. So 413. So in in the spring water, that'd be seriously higher because anything over 250 is classified as a mineral water. Right. Anything below 250 is classified as a spring. Okay. If this comes out of a well, so it's coming out from an aquifer or or just groundwater, something like that. Yeah. Right. So this is pH reader. pH reader. Yes. Takes a while seven, to settle down. It was between seven point whatever to eight last time. So. Takes so a while to so settle good. down. It's alright, anything, if it was over 8.6 then it's no good. So anything above 7 really is what we want, so that's measuring good anyway. It'd probably settle down a little bit lower, but be 7 .5, that's, that's about it? right. Yeah. <clears throat> you keep going down gently, takes a while. But that's fine. So it's nicely in the alkaline. That's good, that's what we need. So, yeah. so that's good. Tap water, usually pretty. It's about eight point five, but well, around. I can't remember the levels, but I remember it, London tap water is quite good for the pH. Yeah, they they, they never mess up with the pHs because they won't give you acidic water. No, you know, so this is like one good thing. <laughs> just just heavy metals. So that's alkaline, really. But okay, sometimes that might be a bit. From the previous test we did, right, this is an electrolysis device. This just shows us what substances are in in there so there's the there's three, 400 parts per million 300 parts per million in there okay and so they react really quickly so we all the bubbling is a chemical reaction between the substances and it breaks the bonds so it helps us to reveal they use the electrolysis device to um cleanse water so as the water passes through it um makes all the particles flock together right and then they um they it's easier for them to scoop them out so the colour we're seeing at the moment, the, the London tap water on the left is more yellowy, right? Yeah, I mean, um, this varies as well, because even sometimes we do London tap water and it's um, it's not good, and sometimes it's okay, so it's, it varies quite a lot, a lot, and in parts per million. But the, what, what we want when we do, when we just, we just want water with um, good mineral content in. Yeah. And the good mineral content is basically yellow. Anything other than yellow is... Um, so I want to turn this off now, so you can feel the waters get hot. Where the chemical reaction, it heats up the water quite a lot. So that's off now, so let me just take this out. So now, so London tap water look, looking okay, it's, that's all pure minerals, and it's got a lot of iron in it, you can see the red on top. Yes. The, if it was black, then that would be heavy metal, so you're showing some heavy metals in there, but this right. is showing as in lots of bacteria and viruses in there. Right, so it's not good. So it's like it's contaminated, or mm -hmm. it's just got lots of bacteria and viruses in there, whereas it's a natural water source, it could have just tons of bacteria in there. Mm -hmm. um, it's like it, 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 it wouldn't... Anything that's not yellow is water that, that I, I've, I've sort of come to know that's not, not good water because a lot of the waters that we test, if they go green and um, blue and black, that's all the stuff we don't want in the water because we don't need viruses, we don't need bacteria, we don't need heavy metals. All we want is a really good mineral content in our water like the magnesium, bicarbonate and, mm -hmm. and good minerals like what we get in sea salt. Definitely. Yeah. So the water is no good then basically? It's no, not by that, not by that. No. That's a shame, isn't it? That is a shame, yeah. But you could use it for other things. Like you wouldn't have to use it. Yeah, I wouldn't use it for drinking. Yeah. And maybe try and find another water source. But, I mean, you, you've got your own water supply, so we use it for as much as you can. You can, see, yeah, you can see the darkness there anyway. This is, um, that's the, there's a little bit of black in there, which that's showing heavy metals. You've got a bit of iron in there, which would be just mineral content. Okay. But um, it's very blue, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it look is. Look how blue it is. Oh, that's a shame. At least I know blue. now. So uh, blue is viruses, bacteria, and, and it could be agriculture chemicals in there. There that, is. That would make sense, because if you're an underground aquifer, you, get, you know, it's in, most of them are going to be contaminated in anyway, by of, farm runoffs. There's lots of farmland about where they use a lot of pesticides and stuff, yeah. so perhaps that's that what's wrong. That could just be that. It could be. Yeah, that's a shame.